Hey there, welcome back. My name is Katie. If you're new to my channel, this is Louisiana Cooking and Living. And I wanted to just jump on here real quick while I was trying to get some food preservation done. I have some pumpkins. I have six pumpkins about this size that I grew uh, last fall. And they're kind of starting to show some spots. I'm not sure how much of these are going to be any good. But I wanted to go ahead and get them processed now that I finally have a few minutes to do this in the kitchen. Um, they have been out in our shop in, um, since I mean, we used them for decoration in the fall. And then we just put them out in the shop. So they've been out there in the cooler temperatures. But now that it's warmed up, um, they can't hang out in the shop anymore. And I have to deal with these. So I think I'm going to get them roasted. And I don't know if this will be a little squeamish for some. But I heard if your dog likes to have snacks out in the yard, <clears throat> that if you feed them pumpkin, it makes those snacks less desirable. And we have one dog that likes to do that. So I'm sure this isn't new to anyone. But um, so I thought we could get this pumpkin roasted up. Maybe we can feed our dog some pumpkin treats or just some pureed pumpkin along with their food. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the pumpkin. I just need to get it processed and in the freezer for now. So let's get these pumpkins cut up, see what's going on inside of them, and we'll get them in the oven roasted. All right, I hope I didn't offend anybody, but out here in the country slash homestead, you deal with these real life problems of animal issues. I don't even know how to say it nicer. So like you can see, I have these six pumpkins I need to deal with. So I'm just gonna start cutting into them. Some of them are heavier than others. So I'm not sure what we're going to find. So we may not find anything usable in these pumpkins. All right. Well, this one doesn't look so bad. Let me get a bowl. I have one here in my dishwasher to get all these guts out. All right, I'm just going to scrape all this out. It doesn't really want to scrape out. Well. You have a better method than this in the future let me know because this is not working so well i don't know if it's they're just slightly dry and just doesn't want to let loose but this just does not want to come out No, what am I going to do with this? Let me try a different one and see if it's just this pumpkin. Let me wash my hands. Okay, this one's a little heavier. So I'm assuming it's not as dry in the inside. Let's see what we got in this one. Well, that one looks much better on the inside. Oh yeah. All right, this one's peeling much better. I'm just going to assume that one was too far gone. All right, so I think I'm going to get these roasting quicker. I'm going to 
cut it up into smaller pieces than just halves. We'll do these, I guess, in quarters, maybe. We'll do it again. How about eights? All right, I'm going to get all these cut up, and we're going to get these in the oven. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees, and then I will let you know how long it took. Okay, so these took about an hour in the oven. I ended up turning the oven up to 375 from 350 because I needed to leave to go somewhere and I wanted to kind of hurry them along. And then I just kind of left them in the oven as the oven was cooling down. And so they are finished now and I'm going to just scrape these off. I guess I can show you how I'm going to scrape them off. Okay, so all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to scrape against the skin to remove the flesh. And um, we'll just pull all this flesh out of here. And we are not big like pumpkin uh, muffins or bread people or anything like that. So um, probably won't save this for that. I'm probably, like I said, going to feed the dogs with it. Um, if it was closer to Thanksgiving, I might would save some in the freezer for like a pumpkin pie. My husband will eat that. But... Um, we're pretty far away from East uh, Thanksgiving. Golly, I said Easter because we just had Easter. And uh, I don't have the space to save this in the freezer. So I'm just going to save this for the dogs. I'll put some in freezer bags, put it in the freezer, and just go ahead and feed it to them occasionally, give them some. And uh, that's all there is to it for roasting your pumpkin and saving your pulp. Now, what you can do with all this is you can take like an immersion blender and kind of puree it up to make it, um, if you're doing like a pumpkin pie or something, you want it pureed up really good. You can do that. And I probably, once I get all this, I probably will puree it so that it, I don't know, the dogs will eat it this way. I'm not sure what I'll do with it. So I know this video is just a little off kilter a little bit, just trying to get this taken care of. Well, I had a few minutes here and there to get it done. Um, I, you see my pot here in the background. I bought some fresh Louisiana strawberries to make a cake that I had. Um, I guess you probably would have seen it by now by the time you see this one, a lemon strawberry cake. And I had some extra strawberries I need to take care of, so I made some strawberry preserves. So while I was in the kitchen doing multiple things, I just thought I'd throw this in the oven and get it done. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, if you did, if you have any tips about roasting pumpkin any more than I did, um, leave, leave that in the comment box for others to learn from all of us. And um, I hope to see you next time. Don't give up on me after this pumpkin video, please. <laughs> see you next time. Thanks for watching.